and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lauren and this week I wanted to have a go at recreating this velvet dress that I came across on Pinterest. Its retail price is $550 so I decided to have a go at recreating it for slightly less. Personally I wish I'd used a slightly different velvet. I used a cotton velvet but for this project I would recommend a two or four stretch velvet uh, just since it's got a bit more weight to it and it will look nicer in the overall finished piece but I was still really happy with how my dress turned out. So for my dress I just needed the two front pieces that create the V, the triangle section that connects the two front pieces together two back pieces which I drafted from a back of a shirt and then cut it in half adding seam allowance one long rectangle for the dress portion and then a second long rectangle that was about double the first rectangle for the bottom ruffles and then also from the shirt I drafted some sleeves and made them a little bit bigger so I could create a few gathers on top and then two small rectangles for my cuffs. So I just started out with cutting all of my pieces out. Since velvet can have sort of a wrong and a right direction, so I didn't want it to look weird as I went along. So this is how I actually started off making my front piece and it didn't really turn out very well. So I ended up watching a tutorial from Jess and I'll either link her video above or below for how to get good curve and the triangle piece. She used, she upcycles the shirt but I used similar measurements from her video and that was how I created my top section. And as you can see, this is how they ended up turning out. And they looked way better and had such a better fit as well. I then attached these right sides together to the two back pieces. So I sewed together the sleeves and the side seams. And I also overlocked these as well. I created a small, a thin piece of sort of it's not interfacing it's like a liner so I sewed these right sides together and then I was able to flip it inside out and I then sewed the seam allowance to the inside piece this just gave it a seamless edge when I was wearing it I did this to both sides around the front V section and then also the neckline as I watched in Jess's video, I laid the two front pieces next to each other so I could properly see the triangle shape that I needed in the front and then I traced half of that onto this piece of cotton which will become the lining for the triangle shape and I folded that in half after drawing the shape on and just cut that out, adding on a little bit of seam allowance. I then cut a matching piece out of my velvet for this and I sandwiched the two pieces, the two front pieces into this triangle curve, one on each side, making sure not to trap the v-neck section. It kind of looked like this, it was sort of sandwiched in between and it was a little bit fiddly where the two points meet and the triangle sort of has that top point section but it turned out okay in the end. So just take it slow on the sewing machine is all I would suggest. So once I was happy with that I then tried the top on and I'd given myself a little bit extra fabric at the back so when I tried it on I held the top section of the two back pieces together and pinned them 
where they met and then I did the same at the bottom I sort of froze in the screen here so you can see the two pins I did it the same at the bottom and then I was able to just draw a line from the top pin to the bottom pin on each of those so it gave me the right the right line that I needed. I then pinned my zipper in place. I used an invisible zipper and I only had this dark green one which was a little bit gutting but it will have to do. If you use stretchy fabric like I mentioned at the beginning you probably wouldn't need a zipper. For the main skirt part of the dress I cut out a piece of fabric which was double the length that my current bodice was so I could create the ruffles. If you wanted a, a little less ruffly, I would suggest 1.5 times that measurement, but I went for double. The bottom ruffle is done in exactly the same way as the main body of the skirt. So it's double the length of the actual skirt. So, you can create the ruffles again. I like to, when I'm ruffling, I like to hem my fabric first because it's so much easier to hem flat fabric than to try and hem all ruffled up fabric. So you could either have it sleeveless and just hem the sleeves, however since I'm following this dress I decided to add my sleeves on. The little rectangles that I had for the cuffs I folded them in half and sewed down the sides. To sew the sleeves I sewed straight down the inside edge and then left about 3 inches which is about 7.5 centimetres and just did a small rolled hem on the seam allowance so I could have a sort of an open slit to be able to add in my cuffs. I sewed this in place by just going up, across and down the seam allowance and then I was ready to ruffle that up in a, the exact same way that we ruffled everything else and make it fit into the cuff of my sleeve. I don't seem to have any footage, but then all I had to do was ruffle the top half of my sleeve and then just sew the whole sleeve in place. Really pleased with how this dress has turned out. I do however wish that I had used the stretched velvet that I mentioned at the beginning of the video as it would have had a nicer weight to it and sort of draped more like the original dress. I'm a little bit gutted that I didn't have a matching zipper. I may consider taking it out if it really bothers me but that is probably unlikely and I'm also considering to shorten it slightly. My dress did end up a bit longer than the original video, maybe just shortening it by an inch or so. Overall I'm really happy with how it's turned out and I definitely think that it was worth making it rather than spending $550. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, make sure to like and subscribe. I have loads of other DIY and upcycling videos on this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye!